Hello YouTube, I'm David Frankel, I'm in Wiesbaden, and this is the Nierberg Barn. Hello, it's Friday morning. We've come to Wiesbaden. We're here at Wiesbaden Hauptbahnhof. Anyway, we've not come to see Wiesbaden itself. Rather, we've come to see a funicular railway. Because, of course. So here we are at the end of the line one in Nierotau, and here is the Nierotau barn. The Nierotau barn first opened in 1888, and it is a water-driven funicular railway. I'm not sure I've ever been on a water-driven funicular railway before, apart from oh, apart from obviously <laughs> this one, which uh, used to ride when we lived in Frankfurt as a child, but that was a very long time ago, certainly long before I made videos for YouTube, so... Nächste Monat die, das erste Wochenende. Also wo bei uns im, äh, drin Feiertag ist. Erste, ja, zweite, dritte ja, Monat. Genau, genau. Ah, und dann ist fertig bis? Dann ist fertig bis äh, März. Here we are at the top, overlooking a fantastic view of the Wiesbaden. And we worked at these, I think, the vineyards. Didn't think they grew grapes this far north, but apparently they do. You can get Rhine Main wine. So Dad was curious as to what other water-powered funicular railways there are. So a bit of searching reveals that there are seven in the world, four of which are in the UK. I've not been to any. And there are 22 that were water powered but have since been converted to electric or other modes, including the Montmartre funicular in Paris, which is technically not funicular because the two vehicles are independent of each other. But we rode it anyway a couple of years ago.
Water being poured out. Uh -huh. Tension. That feeling when you finally get home after a long journey. Well, that was the short and sweet Nierbergbahn here in Wiesbaden, the capital of the state of Hessen. Short S-Bahn ride away from Frankfurt, so if you're ever in Frankfurt as a loose end, come to the Nierbergbahn. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. <laughs>